Uh, guys, because uh, I just started following this situation, I got to keep following it. Core logic. <laughs> <laughs> um, they said no to CoStar, which was surprising. You but by the way, CoStar, me. one of these growth names, right? 50 multiple. Although they'll tell you, listen, for the last four years, that's been the average multiple has been up there. There's CoreLogic shares. They're actually not giving up any ground. Take a look at CoStar. It's come down a lot since they made their latest bid, which did include some cash and seemed to be on paper worth as much as 97 bucks a share. But when you watch CoStar's stock price start to go down, it's at the end there. And we can certainly show it over the last month because it's quite significant. Nine, six, nine, what was it? Nine twenty to seven sixty. Uh, there it is. Um, hmm. They want more. They want more cash uh, is what uh, is what CoreLogic is saying, Jim. Um, and they're afraid they're like, well, if it's a 50 P, yeah, but how can we be sure it won't be a 30 P at some point? Seem to have answered many of their other questions, but it's kind of surprising. Although unanimous uh, on the board, they say, listen, six bucks a share in cash, which is what they increased the last deal by in terms of mix, uh, doesn't reduce our exposure to the volatility in your stock. But so, this is when they, they buy it and then they, they come public with it again three years from now. And like maybe, I don't know, but, you know, I mean, what? it's still 83, 84 bucks a share versus the 80 they've got in hand. But that deal they could actually have a vote on as little as six weeks. The proxy's already uh, already out. Uh, so we'll keep following it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.